lengths. Mm. So basically, right, say that this game goes like blah, 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 and then you spot all these banelings that are wandering around in the middle of the map for him. Mm -hmm. You use your, those meters to pick off the banelings, and then you send, let me count here, uh, what, 16, 24, 48, oof, a lot of zerglings. Uh, let's just go to the unit count station, 67 zerglings. Yeah. If you use those 67 zerglings to just go and kill every single drone he's got. And then all you need to do is like pick off one or two meters and use just four crawlers to defend and you probably could have won this game. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So just always think of terms where you've got your advantage, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you like for example, you see his meters, right? He's got like four meters. You've got a map like for example, he hasn't got four meters, but for example, he's got four meters, you've got twenty. You know, you've got a massive air advantage. So really exploit that advantage. Use those meters for complete map control. Use those meters to pick off drones. Use those meters to clear pathways, to pick off banelings. Like, anything that abuses your advantage. Mm -hmm. So if he had, like, if he had, like, 30 meters and you've got 20, you know, he's got the air advantage. So use that for you, like, you've then got the ground advantage, okay? Mm -hmm. So then you can, like, start producing Roach Hydra because you've got the ground army advantage. I mean, I'm sure you've seen it. I'm sure you've seen, uh, uh, for example, uh, Protoss using Mass Phoenix against Zerg. Zerg won't try and, you know, dominate the air. They'll try and dominate the ground. They'll make Roach Hydra and Festa. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll dominate that ground advantage rather than trying to play catch-up. If you play catch-up in, like, especially in Zerg vs. Zerg, if you try to play catch-up, like, oh, he's got a lots of links, that means I better make lots of links. You know, mm -hmm. you're always going to be behind, assuming, you know, you're equally as good as each other. You know, you're always going to be behind. So use the advantage you've got. Like, right now, you've got a massive ground advantage. So use the mutilist list you've got to help the ground advantage rather than try and take the air advantage. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll hit play again. On three, two, one, go. And just see where this goes. So again, like he's got a huge air advantage on you. He's got about the same amount of mutilisks, but he has got plus one. And also, you know, he's, he, also he's, he's very active with them. Yeah. So, again, like, you could be using your meters to, you know, strengthen your ground advantage. Like, he literally has not made a single ling um, since the beginning of the game. Like, since he's got meters, he hasn't made a single ling. Mm. So you could be using these, um, using these meters to pick off bane lings, uh, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, and then just running in with all your lings and killing everything. So you've got an air advantage right now, so you can use a mutilist to fight mutilist, that's good. So good. Every bit of damage counts against mutas as well. And so I, I was trying to use the bouncingness of it yeah. on ones I could hit, and then I just missed my code and I was a bit of a twat about it. But yeah, that's okay. Then he comes across another overlord, he kills it, and yep. this comes quite a thorn Again, in my like side. really annoying. But what I'm saying right now is you could literally just go for it. Like, send all your banelings in first, because obviously he won't be microing that well. Uh, you know, you kill all his banelings, uh, your muters, like, handle his muters, and then your lings just rush him. Like, imagine if lings were in his base right now, look at the damage they could do. Mm. He has nothing to defend against lings. And then all you have to do is play behind your spore crawlers that you made. And yeah. you win the game. Yeah, I mean this is just genuinely naivety, I think. Mm. Yeah. I mean this is this what this is what happens. Uh, mm. What it is is it's used. And then all of a sudden, yeah. then all of a sudden this happens. Uh. Yeah, that happens, and I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. So that's really annoying. then pretty much one a. Mm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. But again, like what's What's throwing you off is you're seeing all these mutalisks and like I need more mutalisks.
but you're ignoring the fact that you have a ton of Zerglings that could just wreak havoc. Like, uh, they could do so much damage. Mm. And then what happens is... So yeah, like, because he lost all those Zerglings, he made a ton of Zerglings. And... Mm. Yeah. I then go, I then go use this to try and see if he's taken his third, which he hasn't. Yeah. He then stops chasing and then attacks. Yeah. I lose. Okay. If you've seen a lot of um, like bring your spore crawlers forward, um, so mm. you can like engage all at once, kind of thing. Like, as most people will tend to ignore spore crawlers. Mm. Okay. Like, you missed a massive advantage you had for at least, you know, eight or nine minutes in that game. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, because you were afraid of the Mutalus, which is absolutely fine. Like, most people will go, you know, oh, he's got a, you know, he's got tons of Mutalus, I need tons of Mutalisks. Mm. But really, if you're playing defensive, like with all these Spore Crawlers, you know, you've got a decent Muta flock. like, look at your advantage. You had no ground army. Like, you could have literally, like, killed everything in his main, everything in his natural, and then, you know, built up that mutilist flock behind it to, you know, you know, finally push for that win for the game. Mm. But if you'd have sent all your lings in, uh, you know, all the time you had, uh, you could have probably won the game completely. Yeah, yeah. Like, even if you kind of use the lings in conjunction with your mutas, like, for example, you attack, you know, into his army with lings, into his main with lings, and then use the mutas to pick off his mutas. Because his mutas can either fight yours and let the lings completely destroy his base, or he can fight the lings and lose all his mutas. So, you know, either way, you're going to come out, like, so far ahead of that. Mm. Awesome. So, I'm getting a good idea of some goals to set you now. Uh, which is always nice. And we'll go into the final game, which you win, which is always a nice thing to end on. Wow, that's 43 minutes long. Yeah, we can blast through it. It gets pretty crazy in the end. Okay, that's always nice to see. <laughs> so, we'll load this game up. I've never seen a 43 minute Zag versus Zag before. <laughs> oh, you about it. Um, awfully sorry, can I have a brief two minutes to have a go at my friend who just continuously calls me. <laughs> is, is, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, no time. worries. Take two minutes. Sorry. That's alright. No worries. <laughs> no, I think he's gone off. <laughs> awesome, guys. So, I hope you're enjoying this so far. Uh, it's going to be a Fairly, uh, probably about another 30 minutes. If so, uh, I think I'm going for a coach game after this as well. So maybe another hour. I'm not entirely sure just yet. And I'm going to go clear this up before it gets any worse. Hi guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Just taking a little bit break. Yeah, I heard Tasia was leaving Slayers. Which is a shame because I like Tasia. But uh, everyone's joining foreign teams at the moment. Is there any Zergs in the stream chat, by the way? Uh, around silver gold level.
Okay, well, just for a coach game against uh, this guy, because, you know, that's what he wants. And then, uh, <laughs> hello again. Hi, sorry about that. My friend in Sweden's gone missing. Oh. Wonderful. Yay, more drama. So yeah, he's gone missing for three days. No one knows, no one knows where he is. <laughs> the constant calling. Shit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Didn't expect oh, well, that. Back to Starcraft. Carry on. Yeah, yeah. Nice distraction, eh? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, ready. Uh, we're going to blast through this on times four, if that's okay. Okay, perfect, yeah. Awesome. So, three, two, one, go. So, usual stuff, usual stuff, usual stuff. This one, I can't remember what happened. Oh, I know, he got crazy. And then everyone on six bases running around like an idiot. And he made a crucial error, which I don't really understand, and which allowed me to win the game, using exactly what you were telling me to do last game. Yeah. He got he got a load of corruptors and I just made a load of I just made a load of uh, roaches and stormed it. Yeah, exactly. I mean instead of like trying to fight his air with air, like just completely kill his ground. Yeah. Which is what, what I don't understand is why didn't he, he was already at high, why didn't he take the brood lords and he just killed me outright, period. Mm, maybe he just forgot. <laughs> I was thinking that to myself and it was like uh Did he have a great okay. aspire or did no, he forget? He went, he went to hive and did nothing with it. Oh. Okay. So that was nice donation of a couple of lings there. Yeah. Uh, so going hatchery, good. Using your lings to poke as well, like really good. You try not to lose them, just try to like show that you've got them. Yeah, I'll leave one there to see when he's expanding. Yeah, that's fine. Again, you've got lings of speed, clearing shit up. Uh, try to spread your overlords a little bit better. Um, as you mm -hmm. can see, like he can see like everything that's coming from your base when you can't see anything. Oh, he's killed my link, going for expands. I need expand timing. I went for two. I, I also saw the roaches, so I put up the two defensive spine crawlers. Yeah. I, and started massing roaches of my own. Yeah. Which is what I was planning to do anyway. Okay. Um, I oversaturate again, because I thought it was 20 rather than 16. That's fine. I mean, it's better to be oversaturated than undersaturated. I go for an Evo chamber. Mm -hmm. Um Plus one, getting roach speed. Good. Okay. Where did plus one come from? Good. Um, I like that you pulled back and didn't like commit too much to that. Mm. Uh, I like the Hydra Den. Uh, yeah, simply that's because, because... That's because I scouted with this overseer. Mm -hmm. Came in, saw the, saw the spire, yep. and thought, shit, I don't have any anti-air. Yep. You'll see the two spawn crawlers come out. Yeah, yeah. This is the most latest game I played, so you can. I mean, the yeah, I mean, you're playing a lot better in this game than you have the other two. Mm. Uh, just generally, Mine. like reacting properly. Uh, Hydra is are missing. Yeah, Hydra's are really, really good against Mutas. I like Hydra's. But you need to like unit. group them up. Like you need an, uh, the same number of Hydra's as they have Mutas. Mm. So yeah, crazy, the, crazy, crazy. Range. Uh, you get the infestation pits. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Aiming for broodlords. Mm -hmm. Eventually. Uh, I was thinking going ultralist, but it should have been a better idea, personally. Okay. Um, if we just pause the game a second. Sure. I'm at like 1634. I have no idea yeah. where you're at. So. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, right, you've just basically, you know he's gone muters, okay? <laughs> and you've held off like early attack after early attack. Uh, you know, you attacked into him. And he didn't have a lot of roaches. Why don't you just go kill him? Because I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, In all fairness, I have not you've been. killed his army. You know his tech. You've probably got better upgrades than him. Uh, like, see. seeing yeah, you've I got know. plus one, he's got plus two. So you haven't got better upgrades than him, but you've got way more stuff than him. So, like, if you look at the unit counting station, you've got 20 Hydras, 25 Roaches. 